Welcome to Electro Online. How do we find the total inductance of inductors placed in parallel? Well, we can use this technique to figure that out. First of all, we know that the voltage across any inductor is equal to the inductance times di dt. If we then solve this for di, we can say that di is equal to 1 over L times v dt. And then if we integrate both sides of this equation, we could then say that the current to any inductor is equal to 1 over the inductance times the integral of v dt. We can also say that the voltage across the terminals here must be equal to the voltage across each of the inductors. So we can say that v is equal to v1, which is equal to v2, which is equal to v3. And the current through the circuit, the total current through the circuit I here, must be equal to the sum of the three currents, which means I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now we have an equation for the current through each of the three branches, which means that the total current in the circuit is equal to the current through the first inductor, which is 1 over L1, times the integral of V times dt, plus 1 over L2 times the integral of V, and this would be V1, and V2 dt, which is equal to 1 over L3 times the integral of V3 dt. Now, of course, we don't need to subscript because we realize that V1, V2, and V3 are all equal to each other, which is equal to the total voltage applied to the circuit, which means we can factor out a v, an integral of V dt, which means that the current I is equal to the quantity 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2 plus 1 over L3 times the integral of V dt. But then we also realize that since this is true and this is true, I total is equal to 1 over L total. So we can put a total there and put a total there times the integral of V dt, which means since this is I total, this can now be written as 1 over L total times the integral of V times dt, which is equal to the quantity 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2 plus 1 over L3 times the integral of V dt. And I think you know where I'm going now with this. So finally you can say that 1 over the inductance total is equal to the sum of the inverses of all three of the inductances. With other words, you can say that 1 over the inductance total of three inductors in parallel can be written as 1 over L1 plus 1 over L2 plus 1 over L3. And of course, if there's more, you can go 1 over L4 plus 1 over L4 and 5 and so forth. And if there's only two of them, you can simplify this by saying if that L total is equal to the product over the sum, just like we do with resistors that are in parallel, if there's, of course, only two inductors. So if there's more than two inductors, you have to write it like this. If there's only two inductors, you can write it like that. And that's how we deal with inductors that are in parallel.